Hey folks, welcome back to The Camping Post. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the things that we pack in our Intec Sold On Camper. We're getting ready to go on an upcoming spring trip here. And uh, we're kind of using this as an opportunity to document how we've got our Intec Sold On packed right now. Uh, hopefully some of the things will benefit you. Uh, mostly our Intec Soulmates out there might find this of use. Uh, and we can actually use this as a benchmark going forward to see uh, what improvements we make as we go along in our journeys and adventures. So stay tuned. If this information is helpful for you, please like and subscribe to our channel and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Happy camping. We're getting ready for a spring trip here where we're going to go out for four days. So we're going to give you a brief little tour of the camper and how we got it packed. Up here, we've got all our bedding stuff. We've got our sheets for our sleeping pad, extra blankets, electric blanket, our table, the pole for the table, cover for the mattress pad, the dinette insert cushion to convert it to a bed. Over here, we got our general storage, our sleeping bags, like our camping gear, flashlights, bug repeller, some ponchos. On the other side, we still have an open bin, which will probably be used for some clothes. We've got our power section with a battery box I built, and then another generator with an inverter, an outdoor light for our campsite, and of course, the most important thing, coffee. So down below that in our pantry, we got our dog food, our hot water heater, some DVDs, all of our food, which we tend to pack the heavier stuff on the bottom rack. That way if they fall, they don't really damage anything. Up here in our kitchen, we got some cups, towel, an extra heater, our spices, salt, pepper, sugar, some fire starters. Uh, we got our wash and sanitation center. We've got a cutting board that doubles as a wash basin. Another wash basin we've got some stuff stored in and we typically use this out on the campsite. We swapped out our dish rack for this one which is a little bit smaller size and, and works out a little bit more logistically for us. This with the cutting board provides us like a level working space. Uh, it's a little bit more versatile. Underneath the sink, which we're still working on, we got some chips and snacks. We got an extra bucket if we need it, our Instapot, and some other cleaning supplies for just cleaning up the RV. Uh, this is on our task list to sort of work in some better storage later. And here in our bathroom slash storage closet, we got our camp table with our tablecloth, some towels, our bathroom amenities. Uh, we've got a shoe bin over here for extra shoes, slippers, some hangers for jackets, some extra towels. And we also have our dog bed, our extra dog stuff, tether. We also have the extra bed insert sandwiched in between for protection during travel. And here in the fridge, we've got our basic essentials. Uh, we still have some frozen meat to add in here, but we've got plenty of room to spare. We took the freezer door off to allow for more fridge space. Uh, we use that more than we do the frozen stuff. And we also keep our water in the car because we don't need it to be cold. And then for our bedding, we got some pillows with some extra blankets, our mattress pad, some more pillows, some extra blankets, and even more pillows. And then down here on the floor, we've got our carpet that we're gonna roll out at the campsite. And that's just about it for all the basic stuff we got. We do keep some stuff in the car, but the soul basically carries just about everything we need to roll up and uh, get out and go camping without having to do a whole lot more prep or unpacking. And that's why we love our dawn. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications.